Nestled deep within the serene countryside was an old secluded manor known as Blackwood House. It was a place that time had forgotten, surrounded by ancient gnarled trees that whispered secrets in the wind. Within the manor, hidden away in a dimly lit room, hung an eerie portrait that held a dark and sinister secret. The story began when a renowned art collector, Alexander Blackwood, came across the portrait in a remote antique shop. It depicted a woman with strikingly beautiful features, her eyes a shade of piercing blue that seemed to follow anyone who gazed upon her. The artist's signature was illegible, and the shopkeeper knew little about its origin. Intrigued by the mystery surrounding the portrait, Alexander purchased it and brought it to Blackwood House. As the portrait was hung in the manor's dimly lit drawing room, the atmosphere within Blackwood House began to change. Visitors noted an unsettling feeling of being watched, and the air grew heavy with an unexplainable sense of dread. Alexander dismissed these occurrences as mere superstitions, attributing them to the aging manner. One evening, as Alexander admired the portrait, he was startled when he noticed the woman's lips curl into a malevolent smile. He blinked in disbelief, convinced it was a trick of the dim lighting. Yet, as he continued to observe, the woman's expression seemed to shift, conveying a range of emotions from anger to sorrow as though the portrait held a trapped soul. Over the next few nights, Alexander was plagued by vivid, unsettling dreams. In them, he was drawn into the portrait, surrounded by a shadowy realm inhabited by the woman from the painting. She whispered cryptic warnings and begged for release, her voice echoing in his mind even after he awoke. Driven by a growing obsession, Alexander delved into the history of the portrait. He discovered that it was rumored to have been painted by a reclusive artist who dabbled in the occult, a woman named Isabella Ravenscroft. Legend had it that Isabella had created the portrait as a vessel to imprison her own soul in exchange for eternal youth and beauty. As Alexander unraveled the dark history of the portrait, the manor itself seemed to conspire against him. Mysterious drafts and unexplained noises plagued his sleepless nights. The walls of Blackwood House whispered secrets long buried beneath layers of time, and the once beautiful gardens surrounding the estate withered into a desolate wasteland. Desperation and madness took hold of Alexander. He became convinced that the portrait held the key to his salvation, that he could free the tormented soul within and end the curse that had befallen Blackwood House. He sought the help of local mediums and occult experts, all of whom warned him against tampering with forces beyond his comprehension. Undeterred, Alexander decided to perform a ritual he believed would release Isabella's soul. He gathered rare herbs, ancient incantations, and an assortment of esoteric artifacts. As he began the ritual, the drawing room was consumed by an eerie otherworldly light. The portrait came to life and Isabella's spectral figure emerged from it. Her eyes blazed with anger and her ethereal form radiated a malevolent energy. She spoke of the torment she had endured for centuries and vowed to claim the souls of those who had disturbed her eternal slumber. In a final act of desperation, Alexander attempted to flee, but the room seemed to warp around him. The walls closed in, and the air grew frigid as Isabella's icy fingers wrapped around his throat. He let out a blood-curdling scream as the manor itself seemed to swallow him whole, condemning him to join the haunted portrait. From that day forward, Blackwood House remained a forsaken place. Its cursed portrait, a chilling reminder of the price one could pay for tampering with, forces beyond comprehension. Visitors who dared to enter the manor were met with the haunting gaze of the woman in the portrait, her malevolent smile serving as a warning to all who crossed her path. The legend of Blackwood House and its cursed portrait lived on. A cautionary tale told in hushed whispers for generations to come.